One of the most important things in any business is accurate profits calculation. In this video, I will show you exactly how to calculate your profits at the right way when you use AutoDS. It will show you how you can calculate profits even if you have cancelled orders or different prices for different products. Short intro and we are starting. Hello everybody! So we get a lot of questions about how can I get the most accurate profits calculation when I use AutoDS for my dropshipping business. And that's what I want to show and explain in this video. So before we get started, what do we have in AutoDS to see our profits? So to see our profits we have three different places. The first one is these top uh, squares. Below that we have this graph and after that we have here this table that we can choose multiple accounts and see our profits by daily, weekly, monthly and yearly. By the way, we can do the same here, but the difference is that for the table we get some more information and also we can see the profits of all our stores together. But how to make these profits to be accurate so we can really trust them and really know what's going on with our business? Before we understand how to make this calculation, we need to understand two different types of profit calculations in AutoDS. The first one is the fees field that we have under our settings page. So if we go here to the settings, we will see that here. And the second one is the break event that we have for each and any of our products that we uploaded to our eBay store. Now, let's see the difference between the fees field and the break event. The fees field is the field that will actually help us to calculate our profits, while the break event is there just to put the right pricing for our products. And let's see how it works. If I go to our uploader page and I grab any of the uh, products from our supported suppliers, in this case I just took Amazon as an example, I will get here uh, the product with all of the details and I will see here the field of the break event. The break even here is just to show you how much you need to price your product and actually to price your product automatically for you when you work with any of the suppliers. Now, how does this field work? If I go to our uh, break even calculation sheets that I created just to show you in this video, what will happen is that it will take the break even, which is this 14% that we uh, put uh, here in in this example i put 13.5 let's put 14 then it will uh, take 100 minus this uh, field divide by 100 and then it will uh, multiply it by the sell price so in this case if the sell price will be uh, this and i take 41.85 wait first i will take 100 minus 14 then I will divide it by 100 and I will multiply it by 41.85. So with a 0% profit, I will see here that it will be equal to the source price. But what do we miss here? When we work in this uh, way, we miss one important fee that we have on PayPal. And this is the cents amount. So if I go to PayPal fees, I will see that PayPal always taking, in addition to the percent, they take some extra. So for international sellers, usually it's just 13 sell cents. So when we put the break event, the formula will not include this 30 cents and in this case, it will not be accurate. So if we want to have the right pricing, we need to take our eBay fees plus PayPal fees this will be our break even, and to that we need also to add a profit of 30 cents. So let's do that. I will add here 30 cents, and now my pricing will be right. In addition to that, I want to make some profits, so I will just put here the profit percent that I want, and for this example, will be 15%. So the break even in AutoDS is just to give you the right calculation for your product's pricing. It's not to display you the right pricing and the right profits in your dashboard. 
Now, what is the, the fees uh, field? So if I go to the settings, I have here the fees field, and this one is there to give you the accurate profits calculation in your dashboard in AutoDS. Also, not only in the dashboard, but also in the orders page profits section. So this field will be the eBay fees only in the percentage of the final value fee. So for example, for any eBay store, it will be 9.15. And if you don't have eBay store su subscription, it will be 10. In addition to that, I will add my PayPal fees, but only the percent there. So if my percent of fees on PayPal will be, for example, uh, here it will be 3.4, plus I have the international uh, uh, fee, which is 1%. So it will be 4.4. I will add it to, uh, let's say, 10% if I don't have eBay store, and I will put here 14.4. Now, you may ask, what about the additional 30 cents? So the great news here is that for the fees field, in AutoDS, to give you the accurate profits calculation, we will just add the 30 cents automatically. If you work in other marketplaces, which are not eBay.com, this fee will be different and according to the marketplace, we will add this sense automatically for you. So if you work for eBay UK, for example, we will add different amount of sense than what we add to eBay.com. And let's see how it looks like. So if I go to this calculation and I put the same break even and the same fees, 14, product cost price is 10 and the product sell price is 15, I will uh, check the break even it will show me here the product uh, profit as 2.9. While this one is not right because here I don't have the 30 cents fees. So for the fees field, it will also decrease the 0.3% and then it will give me the most accurate profits calculation that possible. Now, another thing that you need to know if you want to really have here the right calculation in the dashboard, you need also to follow up and put the right pricing, uh, the right statuses for your orders. So if you get any order uh, uh, cancellation on eBay, you need to go here and change the order status to canceled. If I change it to canceled within up to 24 hours, my dashboard will be updated automatically and the profit of this product will be decreased from the profits of my uh, stores and then I will have a real accurate for my profits calculation in AutoDS. Not only that, you will also able to see that when you do export of all of your orders from AutoDS. So that's the right way to go. By the way, if you work with the managed accounts, you will also have here a status of return. So if I change an order to a return status, then after the team will process the return for you and the return will go to return completed status, this profit will be also decreased automatically from your profits in the dashboard. And this is the right way to go. You need always to remember to see the right profits of your store. So go right now, go to your settings page, go to the fees uh, uh, setting here, Take the uh, percent that you pay to eBay final value fee, which is 9.15 right now. Maybe it will be different when you see this video and add to that the percent of the fees that you pay to PayPal. Now, if you are from the US, you need to uh, take in conclusion only the uh, regular fees, only the regular percent. But if you are international seller, you need to add to that percent, also the cross-border percent, which is usually 1%. I hope that everything is clear and just for the conclusion, the most important thing to have the accurate profits calculation in AutoDS is to configure right the fees uh, setting here. Also, don't forget to put the right statuses for your orders if you are not working using the automated orders. If you use the automated orders, the statuses will go automatically and you only need to remember to put the cancelled status for orders that were cancelled on uh, eBay and you didn't really get money and paid for these products. Hope that you liked this video, so don't forget to like this video on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information for beginners dropshippers and even expert dropshippers. 
like this video and comment down with any dropshipping related question that you have and I will go personally and answer all of your questions. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.